So guys, welcome to my day in a life video. It's been a little while since I did one of these and I know you guys really enjoy it because you're all a bit nosy. So today I'm going to be bringing you along with me as I do everything I would normally do in a day. So we're going to be riding horses, I need to do a bit of mucking out, some pooping, lots of different things. I'll just be showing you absolutely everything I do in a day. So that's me all dressed in all my Luxe Equine gear. They are the sponsors of today's video, so check out all their links in the description box below. So I'm gonna finish this and then we're going to head down to the yard. So I've just arrived at the yard and my first job is to muck out Smokey's stable because he was in here the other day for a few hours because he has to have breaks from the grass. So I'm going to muck this out before I fetch him up to ride. <laughs> I'm just heading down to the field to fetch Smokey in now. Um, it did rain last night, so I'm slightly concerned they might be very dirty. And the weather is taking a turn, so it might even rain now. Um, so hopefully it doesn't. If it does, I might lunge him. <laughs> if it doesn't, then we will ride. Um, but yeah, let's hope he doesn't need too much of a groom and that he's not too dirty. Let's go find out. Okay, he's very dirty and it's just absolutely started throwing it down. The wind's got up and it's raining. Oh, we might be having a long groom to see if it um, goes away. So we just marginally missed the rain shower. So I'm now gonna give someone a groom. I think someone wants to give Ow. I was gonna say me a groom, but obviously I'm lunch. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give him a groom now, just put him in the cross ties, um, which he doesn't like being in here, so. Sorry, smokes. But it's easiest for me to give you a groom. So I'm going to give him a really good groom and then we'll see what the weather's doing then. So today I am using my Luxie Equine grooming box. So they don't just do amazing clothing, they also do this gorgeous grooming box. And if you know me, you know I'm a sucker for anything rose gold, so it's right up my street. So I'm starting by picking Smokey's little hooves out. And you might notice that yes, he is in the cross ties, and yes, he does have a barrier across in front, because he doesn't like to be in here, and he does like to try and escape. Um, so we'll see how long he stays in. So as well as picking his feet out, I also give them kind of like a little bit of a brush off. They look dirty, but this is actually just kind of dried on. 
um and that's because the first thing i'm going to do is pop some who file on him and it might seem a bit backwards to put who file on first because that's normally the last thing you do um but the reason that i'm doing it is not for the aesthetics and i'm not bothered about hair and stuff sticking to it it's actually just to oil up his hues a bit because the ground's really dry at the moment especially with us being on sand so i pop it on initially so that it has time to dry before we go in the arena Today I'm using one of my favourite hoof oils. This is Leo Vet for strong hooves and it's got pure natural oils in it so it's perfect for strengthening those hooves up when it's a little bit dry and they're more prone to cracking. I switch between this and Kevin Bacon. I kind of use them um, together and like every other day or something like that I'll change which one I use uh, just so that you get the benefits of both really. So then I just pop my hoof all back and I go and grab my magic brush. I have a variety of different brands of magic brushes. You know I'm kind of obsessed with them. And I literally use this all over Smokey. I use this brush literally for everything. And during summer, during winter, they are all I really use, to be honest. Apart from a finishing brush if I'm, you know, adding a bit of shine at the end. Um, but don't worry, I'm not going to go through every single step of my grooming routine. I'm sure you all know how to uh, groom a horse. I won't patronise you too much, so let's have a little bit of music, shall we? So once I'd finished grooming Smokey, I then just quickly popped him in his stable just for two minutes because I decided to go and do some pole work today. So I need to go set that up um, and I wasn't leaving him in the cross ties unattended because no, thank you. Um, so I headed into the arena and I was going to do a more complex exercise. And then I remembered how hard work it is to set up poles and put them away. So I went for a very simple, what I call my two triangles little pole work um, and it literally is because it requires like five poles and that's it so today we're going to be working on straightness and I like to incorporate pole work when smoke has done quite a bit of flat work because it just kind of mixes it up for him and as we'll be jumping on Sunday I didn't want to do much else with him today and um, so I set this up and it just means that you can go through the middle and work on straightness and you can then approach it various different ways as you'll see and it just gives smoke something to focus on and think about uh, but yeah a really nice simple exercise if and you don't need many poles if you want to give it a go at home <laughs>
once we're all tacked up and I'm on board, it's time to warm Smokey up. So I do this by walking um, a full loop on each rein and then working on a few 20 meter circles and then I follow this in trot and then eventually in canter. Today was a really, really windy day. So some days like that when um, it's a bit more challenging, so there's a lot going off, um, I'll warm Smokey up just for a little bit longer until he relaxes into the contact and starts bringing his head down because that's something we're really working on at the moment to try and build that upper neck and try to get him in a nice natural lower head hold because naturally he will kind of stick his head in the air that's his defense mechanism but he's been really good recently he's been so much more relaxed and um, if you've been keeping up with what i've been doing with him you'll probably already know that so once we're all warmed up we're then going to start adding the pole work in and you'll see that we start off in walk and then build it into trot now these are only at trot length distance so we won't be doing any canter in the poles today So I've quickly untacked Smokes and I'm just giving him a brush off uh, where his saddle and his girth have been because he's a little bit sweaty. He's going to have a bath soon because he's got a photo sh shoot coming up. So it doesn't matter, they're dirty today. But that is the reality of owning greys, unfortunately. They do not stay white, or this one certainly doesn't. He's after treats. Get off! Um, but yeah, I'm going to give him a brush and then I'm going to turn him out um, and give him his speed. That's what we need to do. Time to turn Mr. Smokes out and then I need to go and put those poles away before I forget. Can't even wait for me to tie up his hay net. He's already grubbed it from the other side of the fence. Yes, you can have it over here. There you go. So I just need to take his other hay net down. And that is Mr. Smoke's done for the day. If I can get it down. There we go. Good boy.
I've just put the poles away and I was just about to leave and then somebody reminded me that I haven't shown you something. Have we? Go on then. In here are some tiny babies. Hi tiny babies. Hi. So these are Jet's puppies that she's had recently. Oh, your babies. All the little babies. So there's eight little Alsatian pups just chilling in a stable because they're being weaned or being weaned, aren't you? Nom nom nom. Come on. Oh, we've got one that's a little rascal. You're a little brave one, aren't you? Hi. <laughs> oh, here they come. Hi, babies. Hello. Oh, this one's like, yes, let me at you. Those three are not feeling it. You lot are. Oh gosh. Puppy attack. <laughs> what? Are you giving me your paw? Well, come over here then, instead of crying. Oh. oh, nom nom. Hmm. Hello. Are you a boy or a girl? You look like a boy to me. But yeah, these are the cutest, newest residents to the livery yard. So I've successfully managed to drag myself away and I'm now going to head home because uh, I've got some work to do, a few bits and bobs and then you also need to walk the dog. So that is what I'm doing next. So I'm back from walking Ted and I'm actually going to do some work now. So as well as my YouTube and my Instagram and all my socials that I do that you guys see, behind the scenes I work as a social media consultant and manager. So I help brands and individuals grow on socials, um, I run brand socials, um, everything from Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, even help out with YouTube. So that's what I do that you guys don't really see because obviously I'm just the kind of person behind it. Um, but now I'm going to quickly change into something non-horsey. So there we go, time to get some work done guys. So I've spent the last couple of hours doing some work, um, I had a meeting with some clients as well, so that took up a bit of time and now it's time to cook. Now I am not a natural cook um, and I don't particularly enjoy cooking but it's my turn to cook so I'm going to see what I'm going to whisk up. I'm fancying chicken, Chris my boyfriend doesn't want chicken so I might actually just cook two things, um, I'm thinking like rice, veg. I'll have chicken, he can have this weird fish thing that he likes, um, but yeah, something a bit simple um, and then it's time to relax for the evening. And so here is my culinary masterpiece, no obviously this is really quite simple and Chris's weird fish thing that he likes, but yeah, that is tea done. Bedtime, Ted. Come on. Bedtime. 
Yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Don't give me attitude. Come on. And so that brings me to the end of my day. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this slightly different style. If you have, please let me know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. A massive thank you to this video sponsor, Luxie Equine. Be sure to check out all their amazing products and everything they do over on socials and their website. All the links will be in the description box below. And I will see you next Friday at 5 for another video. Bye, guys.